Hello all and welcome to Wake Up With Marcy. It's time to be inspired, empowered, and learn to live our happiest lives. Today we meet two incredible celebrity men that have a very impactful message and we will also hear some great health tips. We first learned that eating well and following a regular exercise program is vital to good health. June is Men's Health Month, a good reminder for men and everyone who loves them to practice healthy lifestyle habits. To speak with us about that very subject is two-time Emmy Award-nominated television, film, theater actor, and philanthropist, John Stamos. John enjoys healthy living every day. As a husband and father to his young son, he knows how important it is to incorporate daily activities and choose healthy food options. Today, John will share tips, tricks, and a healthy mindset. We next meet celebrity interior designer, Tom Felicia. He shares about his work on Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, which is having a reunion special on E! and Peacock this month, along with what the series meant for the gay community and his work as an esteemed interior designer. And finally, Erin Polinsky wade registered dietitian, nutrition and diabetes expert, she will talk with us about her favorite new healthy snack, which uses Incredo Sugar, a sugar reduction solution that can make your favorite snacks healthier and more nutritious. Now let's meet our incredible guests. is Men's Health Month, a good reminder for men and everyone who loves them to practice Mm -hmm. healthy lifestyle habits. Wake Up is so excited to introduce actor and philanthropist John Stamos. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Marcy. We had a nice conversation before this, folks, and she's a very lovely woman, and I'm looking forward to talking to you. Thank you so much, and thank you for coming on to share some healthy tips and tricks with us. So that's really important, but... Let's talk about you for a little bit, because you've been pretty busy uh, Mm -hmm. these past few months and such. So why don't you tell us how you keep up with your busy life and everything that you're doing? Well, that's the that's a good question. Uh, (laughs) You know, it's been a crazy year and a half for everybody. Uh, I I, luckily I I I have a new show called uh, Big Shot. It's on Disney Plus. We talk about, and I hope you guys get a chance to watch it. We started it, and the pandemic happened, so we closed up. But gratefully, uh, thankfully, I I I was grateful to Disney for bringing us back in the middle of it. Um, But COVID nineteen for me meant COVID nineteen, you know, nineteen here, and I said I gotta get you know get into shape, (laughs) right? And and um, I'm, I've always been pretty healthy, but right around that time, um, this great company, Arnold Bread, uh, came to me and said, you want to do a partnership? And I was like, well, let me try the bread first. And let me, ch- you know, mm-hmm. um, and it, and I eat a turkey sandwich every day on the set. And I told the craft service person, I said, you got to get this weight on the set. I got to try it. And he says, John, you've been eating it since we started the show. I was like, really? I feel pretty good. I think, okay, awesome. it's old, weight. I'm in, you know. So, um and it's so I was doing the show. I have a three year old son who, you know, has a lot of energy. And mm-hmm. I'm just now starting to get back out of the road with the Beach Boys. So, you know, I really have to be conscious of what I eat and, you know, how I treat my body and my mind and my heart. And um, this worked out, you know, perfect with all that for me. Uh, today, we're, we're, we're introducing Small Slice. The small slice, which is what you can call me for the rest of this interview. Call me sl- Small Slice or I won't answer. <laughs> is that a thinner slice? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So, well, listen, I got to tell you, you're talking about, you know, losing weight and also for your mind and body and all this stuff. But really what we put in our bodies uh, affects how we feel, how we think, how we are with Mm -hmm. our children and our families. Everything. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really important that you have found that. And that's awesome. And uh, so so how about the your son and your wife? They like the bread, too. Yeah, my son just, just and they'll attest to it. Just this morning, I I FaceTimed him in the, on a break, and he they were having he was having small slice as um as French toast, and uh, he already has a lot of energy. And but after that, he was you know spinning around. And <laughs> he started karate class yesterday, and I think it's good. Do you have kids? I do, but mine are older. Uh, yeah. so I've got fifteen and and eighteen. Well, that's uh, what, how, can I ask you a question about kids? Yeah. How Hold did you on. keep them alive? Cause my kid is trying to kill himself and me and my wife all day long. 
right? I got to I mean, tell you, you know what? I just take really deep breaths and just <laughs> walk out of the room when I yeah. need to. <laughs> Gosh, I guess. Were you, because uh, you seem like a health conscious person. Did you, you know, uh, show that to your kids when they were younger? I'm, I'm sure you set them on the right path, huh? Yeah. I mean, listen, I, I won't, I won't lie. It's hard because yeah. when they were really young, I was like, my kids are going to eat right. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. Yeah. But they push yeah. back yes. really hard. So pick your battles. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, but I mean, this is one battle that we, we do pick with him. I mean, there's always really good food for him to eat there and we prepare it or whatever, yeah. but the sugar is a tough one. I, you know, we, we try to keep it away from for so long and then he just looks at me and my wife and go well, you guys what about you you should stop with yeah. the <laughs> you know yeah. it's um but it's we just try to be a good good influence we um my wife and i went down to the la food bank last week and and donated our time i, I raised money for them over the last year and a half uh, there's so many p kids kids especially like that are in need of you know good meals and good food in the la food bank and, and all yeah. over the country they do that and the 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 classy folks here at arnold bread they saw that I went, they saw my Instagram and they just donated $25,000 uh, to the food that, bank there. And I'm, that is that a classic is move. Amazing. Huh? Yeah. Well, you are such a philanthropist. You are always doing so much. So that's incredible. You also just played with the beach boys. Mm -hmm. So you, you are always giving back. So tell us a little bit more about that. Well, you know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, um, my charity work over the years has been with children. I always wanted kids and now I have one, but I, 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 very early on, I mean, with Full House was a great, you know, great, uh, we, we had the the means to make a lot of people happy, a lot of kids, certainly. So, you know, every Friday when we tape, we'd have, you know, make a wish and start like kids uh, there. And right mm -hmm. now I, I'm the spokesman for the abused children, the 1-800-4-A-CHILD oh, wow. hotline. And, and, and abuse has been up, you know, naturally during this time, which is terrible. Um, yeah. But, you know, um, we do, you do what we can. The Beach Boys, yeah, we just, we just did a live, con a, a virtual concert. It was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister's charity at the Illumination Foundation, um, benefits the homeless in orange county so that's good yeah. we, you know we're just trying to do what you can and i'm sure you do the same thing it's 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 all of it you know it's it's eating well the way we do here it's yeah. um it's giving back it's heart it's uh you know it's 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 just sort of what i've done lately is just sat back it's you know universe what where am i you know where can i be of service um, do I sound like Oprah? Because I should write a book or something. Listen, I say the same thing, John, it, and it really yeah. does make a difference. And um, you live a happier, fuller life. But you know what we ingest and what we put in our bodies is so important. And um, I, you know, let's talk about some some of the tips that that you can offer us. Because listen, you know, men out there, I know it's hard. I also was reading like. They don't go to the doctor very well. You know, there's right. a lot of things, right? You know, so you've got to uh, give some inspiration and encouragement to these guys out there. Well, I'm 82. All right. So if you guys <laughs> amazing, do what I say, if you eat <laughs> this for Arnold bread, if you, well, no, I mean, look, it's, there's no excuse now because all the information is there. When, when my parents, you know, and my grandparents, they didn't know better. My dad, you know, my mom thought fried chicken was good. It's chicken, it's chicken, mm -hmm. it's fried mother. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and then, then they get in those, you know, those habits. So, but there's no excuse now. If you, if you don't feel great all the time, you're doing something, you know, wrong, probably. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, like you said, it's what you put in your body is important too. But, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm no, I'm not Richard Simmons. I'm not a health guru, but I do Richard know how to Simmons. eat well. And yeah. I do <laughs> eat nutritiously to get me through the day. And this is, this has been a great, uh, great help. Yeah. So let's talk about mindset. Okay. Um, you know, how do you make sure that you have a healthy mindset? You know, because eating healthy is not always the what we want to do, right? So, right, right. you know, yeah, so, there's a lot of things we don't want to do, which we have to do, right? And right, right, damn yeah. it. And and so, but you you have Arnold bread there. And I mean, listen, we use bread in so many different ways. And to know mm -hmm. that there's a healthy one that we can mm -hmm. eat, that that's really important because whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I mean, like you can use it in so many ways, but yeah. what is the mindset going into that? Like when you set your frame around being healthy, like what's your mindset? Mm -hmm. Well, I think not to sound like I'm, you know, corny or anything or, or being too 
So, but but small like like you you don't have to lose twenty pounds in a week or 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 change right. your diet completely. Like take small steps, you know. Take the you know, little wins, you know. You'd say it's little victories during the day, and it could be as easy as just you know going from a big loaf of you know eating a lot of white bread or something to a smaller you know, this, this is, you know, less calories and, um, you know, you don't have to eat so much, but I'm just saying like, start small. Don't, don't be afraid to yeah. just take little baby steps as they say. And then, you know, and then, cause we've all done those, you know, fasts and diets, you know, they, they never really work. I think it's no. just trying to, you know, and that's the mindset. Let's just kind of eat healthy. It, it, you know, it really does pay off. I mean, you know, if you eat yeah. well and you exercise and, you, and you're a good person, you feel better. So uh, but it's right. hard. I, look, it's hard. I, I, you know, part of my uh, secret is I drink the blood of Rob Lowe, so that <laughs> helps with that. Does Does he know that? Because he does now. <laughs> he needs it. <laughs> oh God, that's too funny. Well, listen, I love what you said about uh, the little wins because it is about making really digestible um, goals for yourself because yes. if you're making them too grandiose, you're going mm -hmm. to fail. And, um, and no one feels great when they're failing, right? So like you said, the little wins. And I can't thank you enough for coming on Wake Up and tell us how we can find more information. Well, you go to, uh, well, it's arnoldbread.com, I think, is one of the websites there. And it mm -hmm. will um, will tell you where to get, because it's different, there's different brand names. There's, you know, Aura Wheat, there's um, uh, Arnold, there's Brownberry, that's the wrong card. But still, I think you go to arnold.com, arnoldbread.com, I'm sorry for the information. She's okay, in California, great. isn't she? You're in New York? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Good what just is, happened? <laughs> I, I thought I thought I was confused because you know, it's I've been here since two a.m. But oh in, in New York, in New York, it's all different. But in New York, there is Arnold Bread, and that's where you go to ArnoldBread.com. Yes, and I actually am a big fan of Arnold Bread too. So why didn't you um, start the interview with that? That's that's <laughs> it because is, I yeah. didn't know you were talking about Arnold Bread until later on. You brought ah. it up. Right, right, right. Yeah, did you, you know, eat it as a kid or get, give it to your children? Well, now that I get to make a decision, what kind of bread that I eat, because mm -hmm. I actually grew up on white bread and butter at every meal. Yeah, right. But yeah, but now Arnold bread and Aura wheat, those are two I actually choose at the grocery store. I love, you know, whole you know, wheat bread. There you go. I'm going to send you some, so we're going to need to send her some bread. <laughs> All right, John, I, I you, really Marcia. appreciate it. It's been amazing. Thank you for coming on the show. A pleasure. Thanks for having me and good luck out there. Thank you very much. Watch Wake Up. <laughs> wake All right, up. bye. Next up, we meet celebrity interior designer, Tom Felicia. Tom Felicia, welcome to Wake Up With Marcy. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? I have to let you know, I'm actually at my niece's graduation party from high school in New York City on the Upper East Side. And um, I just snuck away so that I could have this moment with you guys. I'm really excited. <laughs> well, it's awesome to have you on and we got a lot of great stuff to talk about. First of all, I want to talk about the reunion that just happened. How was that? Yeah. Well, it was, okay, first of all, the, um, the, the reunion was hilarious because, you know, Jay was always kind of like our, sort of our little brother. He was about 10 years older than, younger than all of us. And he, we kind of like, I totally hazed him the entire time. I have two older brothers. So I duct taped him to everything, hit him in closets. Like whenever he would try to get in the car, I would drive it away and he would stop and we'd stop and we'd get closer and I would drive away. So it was like his whole existence was completely and utterly being Hayes' little brother. So when he was turning the big 4-0, we were planning on, you know, all getting together if we could and, and you know, doing some kind of event with him. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of snowballed into this whole sort of road trip, you know, uh, reunion, which was really cool. And, you know, so it just kind of turned into a little bit more, which was exciting. And we were each able to do something from our expertise, our area of expertise for him. So I, 
kind of redid the backyard and I, uh, Ted was working remotely. So uh -huh. I was his, I was kind of his boots on the ground uh, to kind of keep everything sort of looking right and kind of playing together. And it was really fun. We had a great time and it was a surprise for Jay. So it was really cool and it's hilarious. <laughs> that, that is so awesome. So that was on E. So that, of, yeah. course, of course, I, I don't need to say it, but it was for Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, which is awesome. And yes. I mean, that's where and that's you got- going, By the way, that's going to be on E. That's going to be Thursday at uh, nine o'clock Eastern time on E, this Thursday. But Tom, I wanted to tell you that the show's airing April 26th. Got it. I mean, so not boring. April 20th, June 26th, April. June 26th, yeah. so it's the weekend after. Yes, so then you can, I think, you know, the thing is, I think you can actually, from what I understand, I haven't done it yet, but you yeah. can actually upload it on Peacock. Yes, <laughs> it's on Peacock all month. So even if you feel like you missed it, you really did. <laughs> you did not miss it. And you know what, what's so great nowadays, you can watch everything anytime, right? So. <laughs> I, you know what, exactly. That sort of works for my schedule because I'm generally like, in an airport, on a plane, go, I mean, yeah, I'm moving around. Hence me being in sort of an amenity room in my brother and sister-in-law's um, condo in New York City. And Listen, um, I'm excited though, that you made the time for us. So thank you, thank you. I wanna talk a little bit about Queer Eye for the Straight Guy and all right. how that brought you to the forefront. And, and I wanted to talk with you about young people during Pride Month and such. Yeah. I did. And young people identifying with their sexuality, did they reach yeah. out to you for advice? Were you there for them in any way? Well, you know, I, I think that one of the things that I think that we did sort of effortlessly back when we were sort of coming on the scene with Queer Eye was that it was really done as, um, you know, there were five of us, we were all representing just ourselves, being mm -hmm. different but similar, you know, people within the five of us. We were also connecting with this straight guy who, you know, at that time, this was kind of like, wow, this is an interesting concept. You know, today, those things are not quite as kind of atypical, let's say. Um, yeah. So I think today, you know, the things that we're talking about in the conversation, it goes much deeper. And, um, and I think that one of the things that I think that myself and the brand of Queer Eye brings to the table is the idea that difference is good and it's mm -hmm. in, and difference is interesting and difference is um, a positive thing and an exciting yeah. and interesting thing. And I think that, that what we do and what we do really well is we kind of springboard that concept where it is about you know being open, being accepting, um, being interested and, and, and things that are different mm -hmm. that are that, that means that means that there's so many possibilities. It's about possibilities. So yeah. optimism and possibilities. And right now, you know, we're all coming out of COVID and we're yeah. going through, um, you know, this is, this is our month of celebrating sort of, you know, difference. And, and uh, it's, you know, it's a gay pride, you know, the month of gay pride. And I think that I, you know, right now we're also celebrating just coming together in general. Everybody mm -hmm. going out, reconnecting in ways that we haven't done in over a year. And yeah. also it happens to be at a time when that sort of would be part of the narrative, even if COVID didn't happen. So I think joining those two things together is a really awesome moment. And what I think that what for the current Queer Eye and the OG Queer Eye that I'm a part of, I think what we bring to the table is just sort of starting that conversation creating yeah. that opportunity for the dialogue, keeping it open. And, you know, and, and, and you know, I think we're constantly, you know, as, as one thing becomes um, understood and that we kind of come to terms and sort of, you know, understand each mm -hmm. sort of, is it that, that sort of, uh, I, I would say, becomes sort of the conversation or the topic that we're talking about or the situation that's being dealt with. Then there's another thing that sort of, comes up behind that. And I think right. this isn't some this isn't about this isn't about having all the right answers. This is about having a conversation. It's about having a dialogue and letting people know that, you know, that they have the opportunity 
to, to just be open and communicate. And most importantly, I think it's about being comfortable in your skin. I think that's- Absolutely. Yeah. And, I think, and I think we all struggle with that. I don't care who you are. Yeah, um, you I know, agree. That, yeah, and, and just like so many things that are out there right now, like you were talking about just opening up the conversation and allowing yeah. people to, to speak their piece, be who they are and be comfortable with that. And it's so, so very important. Yeah. I think what we're also finding, I know the term love is love, but it's truly, it's about love and kindness. Right. And that's where we're at today. And, Absolutely. Um, and, yeah. and, and, you know, one of the other things is that, you know, I think a lot of times the conversation isn't just helpful for the person who's being spoken to. It's also helpful for the person who's speaking because we're all kind of, you know, sorting out who we are, where we are, how we got to who we are and where we are at this moment and where we see ourselves moving forward. And so it's really therapeutic for all of us and cathartic for all of us to have these kind of conversations and communicate and, you know, coming together with a different point of view and, mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 and really, you know, having that conversation, whether we're talking yeah. about politics, sexuality, whether we're talking about education, whether we're talking about young people, and old people, mm -hmm. you know, as we're talking about, you know, it, it, it feels like the idea of working as a team has never been more important. And I think right. that one of the things that we did in the original OG Queer Eye and what they're doing today as well, it's really about coming together and working as a team. And even though there may be, um, you might be, uh, you have a different sort of- There's differences, idea, yeah, yeah. Or a different, a different point of view. It's about, mm -hmm. it's about really coming together and having that conversation and figuring out how to work together as a team. And I right. think that, I really think that if there's one thing that we have done and that we continue to do is about giving people the opportunity to feel comfortable enough in their space, in their skin, hopefully, um, and in who they are so that they can have that conversation and they can feel comfortable having that conversation. And that that conversation is feels natural and organic and, and not yeah. I think that- and I I think a lot of I think a lot about young people having those conversations and feeling comfortable yeah. with that. And the more that yeah. we show that that's okay, yeah. um, that's I mean that's what we need to do and kind of break right. the old cycles, right? Right. Um, yeah. So I just want to thank you for coming on and talking about that. And so, what is going on with Tom? What's next for Tom? So what's next for me? Well, so I just. I am, um, you know, I still have my design company and I'm, I have my design company and I'm doing, um, I have uh, Tom Fleish Incorporated where we do uh, interior design, both commercial and residential. And uh, it's about 18 of us in that company and we work all over the US and outside of the US. Um, and then I have Sedgwick and Brattle, which is my showroom in New York City uh, that shows a lot of our product. Then I have my licensing company, which is the Tom Felicia Home Collection, where we have furniture, textiles, rugs uh, that we just launched at a high point. Um, we have wall coverings, bedding. Uh, we're starting lighting right now, uh, curtain hardware, artwork. So we have all of these product categories and we're that, that whole sort of division is moving forward. And then um, I have Tom Felicia Entertainment where I do books and television and media and all of those kinds of things. All right, fantastic. And I know it's fun to watch you on Instagram also because I know that you show a lot of your designs. So yes. that's so awesome. Look at, at Tom Felicia, T-H-O-M-F-I-L-I-C-I-A, all eyes. Um, yeah, yeah, at Tom Felicia. You can go to at Sedgwick and Brattle, S-E-D-G-W-I-C-K and Brattle, B-R-A-T-T-L-E. And uh, check out what we're up to. Awesome, and Tom. And Tom Felicia <laughs> There you go. There you go. Well, thank you again, Tom, so much thank for you. coming on Wake Up with Marcy. Thank you, Marcy. We got so good to see you. Good morning, everybody. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, it's good to see you. And um, big kiss and happy Friday. Next up, we hear about a healthy snack. Welcome to Wake Up with Marcy. 
Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. This is awesome. So we're going to talk about Incredo spread. So tell us more about that. Oh my gosh, if you love hazelnut spreads as much as I do, you are going to love the Incredo spreads because they taste delicious, but they have 50% less sugar than the leading brands. Mm -hmm. Yes. And on top of that, each serving has eight grams of fiber, which is about 30% of our daily needs. And most of us just don't get enough fiber. So you have this delicious hazelnut spread. It's going to satisfy your sweet tooth, but you're getting in fiber. Plus you're getting three grams of protein too. So you're getting those beneficial nutrients you need. I love it. I love it. So let's hear some recipe ideas. Absolutely. So one of the great things about Incredo sugar, it, it, Incredo spreads are made with Incredo sugar. And this is this new sugar reduction uh, solution, which basically they've restructured real cane sugar. So there's nothing artificial about this, but it's because it's restructured. It's just as it's sweeter to our taste receptors because it's delivered a little bit differently. So food tastes just as sweet with as much as 30 to 50% less added sugar. So when you're talking about recipes, anything that you would love to sweeten up and really, you know, satisfy satisfy that sweet craving, you can use the Incredo spreads to do. So in my house, my kids love a sweet breakfast, you know, pancakes, lots of syrup, all of that. So mm -hmm. as an alternative, I love to do whole grain toast with the Incredo spreads, just spread it on. And then you can make it into fun little faces with a couple little slices of fruit. And you can see that right there. You can have like a or puppy. Yeah. And it's a great way to get more protein and fiber into their diet, but still give them that sweetness they want. They think they're getting something that they're not supposed to have. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. So where can we where can we buy this, the Incredo spreads? Oh, definitely. So if you want to learn more, go to incredosugar.com and to shop the Incredo spreads and stock up, which you definitely want to do, um, go to shop.incredosugar.com. Well, it sounds incredible. So thank you. <laughs> thank you so on much. That. <laughs> All right, we'll see you soon. Bye. I just love today's show and I want to thank you all for spending your Saturday with me and my guest. And there's something really important that I wanted to share with you. On average, men die almost five years earlier than women. Part of the reason is that men are more reluctant to go to the doctor, according to menshealthmonth.org. In fact, studies show that women go to the doctor twice as much as men. It's so important to listen to our bodies and go to the doctor because early detection can truly save our lives. I also wanted to recognize the resilience and determination of the many individuals who are fighting to live freely and authentically in the LGBTQ community. In doing so, we are opening hearts and minds and laying the foundation for a more just and equitable America. Just remember, guys, that love is truly love. So if you want to check out any future guests or any of my past shows, please go to wakeupwithmarcy.com or YouTube at wakeupwithmarcy.com. Remember to be kind to yourself and kind to others. And I'll see you next Saturday. Wake Up With Marcy is sponsored by True Serenity Tea, which is a monthly subscription box that delivers award-winning loose leaf teas from around the globe to your doorsteps. Check out trueserenitytea.com to order your subscription box.